Project Workbench. Scene 42, take one, marker. He said, set. Shut up! Approaching the Cyclone system. Time. Less Shoot. than a minute. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad. We are full time. Let the cleansing begin. Only enough to slow them down. Hey, I'm Kevin Fry Bowers, and I'm playing Jara Rook in the new Star Trek Renegades. One of my three viewers saw this video and said, that guy is living the dream. I think I would like to get into acting. What would be some advice you might give to that person? Life experience uh, at this point. Uh, Macaulay whatever. Culkin had none when oh, he made Oh, yes, he did. Oh, come on. The harsh and bitter life experience. <laughs> um, so, uh, the thing is, is in, in, in my situation, I grew up in school, when I was in school, I never fit in, and whether it was with the jocks or the nerds or, you know, I always had friends that were older than me, like a couple years older. So, and my parents were so much older than me that I always had, was hanging around, you know, people that were 35, 40 years older than me. So I felt comfortable with them. I didn't feel comfortable with kids my own age. And so I was always trying to fit in. So by the time I got into my 20s and I moved out to the desert to become a golf pro, and that really wasn't working out, and I didn't want to be stuck behind a counter for the rest of my life. Um, and I got back into school, and by happenstance, tried out for this play. It finally, I realized what I was meant to do. Because that whole time, those 20 some odd years, I had just, I was a chameleon and didn't even know it. Would always try to change, but I always enjoyed making people laugh and telling a story. And so then when that hit, and I realized it, that, that, that changed my life. I mean, just for, to, to know, finally know, that I had a special purpose. I had that same moment just on the drive up here, actually. Yeah. That's Stuck funny. on the five? Yeah, it's terrible. While you were driving past Disneyland? Yeah, it's like, this is it. Now I know what I need to do with my life. You're soaring, you're soaring over Star Trek Renegade. <laughs> Now, what happened with your career as a comedian? <laughs> if the thing that sort of hooked you in... That is the ironic part. I've done two comedies. The Naked Truth and Modern Family. And they see this face and they don't think comedy. Hmm. And that's okay. Because sooner or later that'll, that'll turn. Do you ever want to pursue fulfilling that? Like, do you want to do stand-up? Do you no. want to... Hell no. 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 Okay. No. Okay. Quick question for you. Have you ever watched Star Trek? Yes, I have. Okay. Back in the day. Oh, so you watched the original series? Oh, absolutely. I was around for that. And did you have a chance to, to catch any of the more contemporary series? -es? Series? -es? That's a word. Yes. I did this. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Next Gen and uh, Patrick Stewart. Wonderful man, wonderful actor. Ugh. And uh, some Deep Space Nine. <laughs> That's great. No, that sounds great. Okay, because I thought it'd be sort of a shame for you to have had so many experiences almost being in the show, but not having much familiarity with it. And I think, yeah. um, in my experience with the fan base, being one myself, yes. as an actor, do you feel it would be necessary to have watched a bunch of Star Trek in order to turn in a good performance on the show? There is something called Netflix. <laughs> and I'm going to watch every episode between now and when we start. Really? Mid-October. Every episode of what? Every episode? Deep Space Nine and Next Generation. Those, that is my goal and my episodes. quest. And that's fine. Okay. Well, good for you. Good yeah. for you. So you're a dedicated performer. Absolutely. What I, I don't want the angry kind of letters that you get. And you feel that that's important. Absolutely. For your performance. Yeah. I need to know the world we live in. So. Okay. Absolutely. That's, That's dedication. Are you going to like dine on only Bajoran delicacies for 30 days or anything? I was thinking about going up to MGM up in Vegas and just going into their little area, their little Star Trek that? area. I like that. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I've been there before. All right. <laughs> what is that you have there? 
Why are you looking at my crotch? <laughs> Matt? What is that? Matt, back off. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Just a little something I picked up. Galileo 2, USS Enterprise shuttle. <laughs> Flying through. Yeah, did you know that they do flip? <laughs> they do. I don't remember any barrel rolls in the original series. Whoa, there it is. Easy, easy Tim. It's okay. I've got it. I mean, we could, we could like, grow oh, you out. <laughs> Sorry. Kevin, if someone wanted to find out more about you, do you have, like, a website or a Twitter or a Facebook page? We could check me out on Facebook under Kevin Russell Fry Bowers. I want to make it exactly and absolutely the hardest way to possibly find me. Kevin Russell Fry Bowers on Facebook. No, tw do you have Twitter? No Twitter. Do you have a web page? No. Do you have a... Okay. <laughs> have a I phone hate. number? Can we text? Sure. Let's give my, let's give my, no, let's give my number Like out. if someone were to drop by and maybe bring you a cake or something. Sure. Your home address. Well, that's uh, great, Kevin. Thanks for uh, all your insights today. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited to see what you do with your character on Star Trek Renegades. Thank you, man. High five. That's good. No. <laughs>